What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Mr. High Tech Vasily Lomachenko. Vasily wants the fight with Javante Tank Davis. He says, let's Mike make that fight already. I will fight the boy for free. I will fight him for legacy. I want that for my legacy. I want Floyd Mayweather Jr. to stop hiding your fighter. Now, according on the, <clears throat> the PB side of the street, the Mayweather side of the street with Tank Davis, you know they had a back and forth, um, a back and forth decision on where or or if they were going to put Davis in there with Loma. Okay, because if you guys can remember, you know um, Loma wanted Tank Davis for the last two years. Okay, and Tank Davis at first Floyd was like, no, you can't have Tank Davis. Then I guess Tank Davis did something to displease him. Then all of a sudden, he wanted to feed that fight. He wanted to make that fight. But now, he doesn't want that fight. You know, and a lot of deals that Floyd has, has done, you know, his exhibition with Ryzen, you know, that's now becoming a, it's an Asian uh, network, okay? And now, um, he's trying to uh, <clears throat> feed or promote his fighters to fight on that network to get that money over there which, you know, I, I have no problem with, but they stated by that time, you know, Vasily would be all old, you know. So I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, you're making a deal with Ryzen for Javante Tank Davis to fight on another network in another country. And then you, you state that when that's all said and done, Loma will be old and washed up. Well, you're talking, though, if that's a, some type of blue blueprint or a plan or something like that you know because it's like okay well yeah we're doing all this and by that time you'll be too old to fight well if you know that you should make that fight happen you know what I mean but the business model for any any guy that's a, that's in TMT promotions Mayweather promotions or PBC with Al Heyman if they have an undefeated record by God they're going to keep that undefeated record to sell more Okay, that's the thing. If you know, because Floyd Floyd's model was simple, and you know Al Heyman enforced this. If you never been beat, you can never say no one beat you. If you can never say no one beat you, you can sell and ask for a whole gang of money, uh, depending on who you fought. The only problem with Floyd is his business model is these guys haven't fought anyone. The guys that they're fighting, they're fighting for names, but these are smaller guys, you know. And come to think of it, now. Floyd wanted to fight guys like Barrera and Morales, which were eight pounds south of him. You know, uh, Princess Sima Med, six pound, four pounds south with it, would at featherweight at the time. Well, he couldn't get those fights, right? Those guys were busy fighting each other down there. And now, if you look at it, he's basically like he wants to live his life or his life that he would have made in a smaller weight class through his smaller fighters because that's all we've saw. We've saw these guys. They haven't really been tested where they're at. He hasn't fought anyone like Farmer. He hasn't fought and he didn't fight Loma. You know, he won't go up to 135 even though the motherfucker can't really make weight half the time at his own weight class, supposedly. Because you know he's a big um, lightweight. He's a big 130 uh, pounder. You know what I'm saying? He's not a small guy. You know, um, honestly, he should go to 135. But Loma wants that fight for his legacy. Now, let me counterpunch this. Loma should give that up. I hate to be pessimistic. I hate to, you know, I know the fight, us as fight fans, we want to see that fight. I would love to see that fight because I want to see Loma in the best version of Loma. And it looks like they're trying to hold out until that happens. But Nate, make no mistake about it. With that fight, with if it's two years from now and Loma is, I forget how old Loma is, um, but Loma's not performing like he used to, okay? They will still make that fight, but that would be the plan from the get-go. You know, they want that fight with Lomachenko, and they don't want it now. They want it later, okay? They want it when they have an edge. That's the business model. You know what I'm saying? If he was born in 88, that makes him uh, 31 years old. So by 33, they think he'll be all old and withered, right? And then they'll be like, hey, yeah, we'll fight you now. 
you know, if I'm Lomachenko, if I'm, I know he's a small 135 pounder, but so is Pacquiao, okay? You know, he doesn't have the power like Pacquiao, but he does have the skill. He does have the speed. Um, my suggestion to Loma, I have no objections for Loma, you know, wanting that fight. He should want that fight, but he should realize that his promoter, Bob Arum, and Davis's promoter, which is Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather Promotions and, you know, Leonard Ellerby and all those guys. He should know that those fights, that fight can't happen due to that. Bob Arum and Heyman, they don't get along, to say the least. Um, I feel Loma, if Loma really wanted to do something for Legacy, he would go to 140. He would try something that Floyd and Manny did. You know, if you want to be considered in that category, depends on how he wants to look at himself. You know, he's already, he will already, already go down him and Mark Breland, you know, guys like that is one of the, some of the best amateurs, you know, in the world, him and a, a gang of Cuban fighters, right? And, um, if he wants to be remembered, but he wants to do something professionally for his legacy, if he wants to do that, he needs to move up and fight people a lot bigger than him, like Floyd, like Manny did. If he has that skill, because honestly, I think that the, the Davis fight is not going to happen. And it's not going to happen because they don't want it to happen. They don't want their fighter to lose because Tank Davis could lose. And it's a good chance he would lose to Loma right now. You know, I just saw last night the um, Loma and Pedraza fight. And I know Loma did just come back into the ring after having surgery, but he did get hit a lot more than he usually did, and that is true. Now, Tank Davis, I think, I don't know what he personally wants, but it's not what you personally want as a fighter on that side of the street. So let's just be real. It doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? You could say what you want to do, but Tank's a young guy, and I don't really think that him being under Floyd's banner, I think when he uses his voice, he gets uh, scrutinized, he gets penalized, you know, he gets punished. You know what I mean? But then now I'm thinking about it, counterpunching that. Maybe that's what he should do. Maybe Davis should be that guy that says, you know what? Fuck you, Floyd. I want I want high tech. I want to I want to enter the make the matrix. I want to enter that. Right. And Floyd might just say, OK, motherfucker, you know, I'll do you. I was starting to do that before when you pissed me off. Now I'm going to do it again. You know what I mean? Now that's if he really wanted that fight. You know, but then again, some certain people are content with what they have. A lot of those fighters are over there. They get the bling bling. They get the diamond rings. They get all this, right? You know, the gold chains and all that. The, the nice flashy cars. And for all, for what? For an undefeated record, and they haven't fought anyone. You know, but they get protection in return. Okay, so you might not fought anyone, but you do get paid. Okay, welcome to the PBC. Welcome to Mayweather Promotions. So that's an idea for Tank Davis if he really wanted to fight Loma, you know, but this is Loma wanting to fight him, okay? So this is more like a call-out. This is a call-out from Loma. So anyway, Loma's not getting any younger. Tank Davis has the time. We'll see if this happens in time, but I've counterpunched this. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. You guys can counterpunch. Peace.